so last week, uh, the Government uh, Accountability Office uh, released a report that I read about in the New York Times, and it talked about, and I don't think uh, this is anything m most people didn't know, but it talked about how black children are singled out for discipline and discipline more harshly than their white counterparts. Uh, across the spectrum, whether it's a white uh, teacher doing it or whether it's a black teacher doing it, that they are singled out uh, more harshly and given uh, stiffer punish punishments for acting much the same way that most children do. And I think that it's important to remember that at a time when we're, teachers are fighting for the right to be paid fairly, which they absolutely have the right, they are fighting for uh, the right to be respected, that those teachers now, when they get what they want, and I think they should, should realize the part they play in children's development. They should realize once you're paid fairly, and I think they should be, they have to stop doing the things that put a black child on the outs from the beginning, that start them at a deficit position from the beginning. From the beginning. The first time they run into most children are in a public setting is often a school. The first symbol of authority to them besides their parents is a teacher. The first either either they're positively affirmed or negatively. If you tell somebody that they're, they're, they're a trouble, that you tell somebody that they're a discipline problem, you treat them like they're other than pretty soon, they will act that way. So at a time when teachers are fighting hard for what they justly deserve, uh, it, it, we should also remember to hold them accountable for the things they do. They have people's developments in their, in, in their hands. They have children's well-being, children's esteem, children's idea of themselves in their hands. You spend more time with your teachers than you spend with your mother and father most of the times if they're working. So at a time when we're fighting for t teachers in West Virginia, in Oklahoma, in Arizona, in Kentucky, in several other places across the United States of America, a time that they should be fairly and adequately compensated for the rough job that they do, they should remember part of the job they do is to be fair and to teach people, uh, uh, teach children that they are worth something. That bias starts so young that by the time those children are in their high school years, they have a pretty good idea of themselves, and that's just not from home. That's from the teachers that have dealt with them. All right, that's a little note from the GED section. We got the Jazz Report coming up in 15 minutes. This is the D.L. Hughley Show.